Good evening everybody, here we are, All Season Adventures. This is actually day two of my trip to the attempt to do the Trans Taiga Highway, also uh, the James Bay Road up north to the Arctic Ocean. And currently I am on the James Bay Road, so I wasn't sure if I was going to get turned around or not, but so far we're looking good. I am about 200 kilometers on the James Bay Road. I got another 170 kilometers or so to the next fuel stop, but update things are looking good on this trip so far but uh that's gonna be a whole series gonna do a whole like uh probably 14 to 21 days of camp and every single night series i'll have my summer trip tuesday so kind of changes the format for my saturday night camping which is released on sundays as normal but i'm gonna do something a little bit different tonight we're still camping of course camping every single night but I, some of you guys might be curious to what i'm carrying for camping gear and set up my I know right now my bike looks like a freaking mess with everything I have on there, but everything does kind of have a purpose. I, it is a bare minimalist setup, believe it or not. It is bare minimalist to uh, anything can happen, and it can keep on trucking true. But, like, I don't have, besides, these are my only pants I have. These are my only shirts I have. I do have a spare set of thermals. That's it. And uh, my clothes. Anyhow, without further ado, let me show you guys what I got here. We'll start with the front. Uh, Right there, that is just uh, all my uh, tire changing equipment. Got a couple of tire spoons, a spare tube, tire changing gear in there. Then I got a little accessory here so I can uh, inverter, so I can charge my tablet on the road. Then my uh, fanny pouch in here. I always have a protein bar, a fire starting kit, main pouch. I got a toque, little stuff like that. Then, of course, here I got to have a first aid kit on top. Not just a couple band-aids, I got a regular full-on one to four people first aid kit. And underneath the first aid kit, I do have a, a sand splint. So uh, if I, heaven forbid, break a leg or arm or something, I can kind of splint it. So let's go further inside the bow. Yeah, well up here we got a, got my GPS, of course. Then I got my accessory to kind of a ram mount knockoff to mount my phone on. It works pretty good. So here I got a do. Normally I don't have food in here, but I picked up some food at the last gas station. So those are just there for now. Normally they wouldn't be there. I got my uh, wrist brace. Then I got a water bladder in there too, so I can hydrate while I ride. Then I got my uh, pot cook set, which I know you guys see in other videos. Here I have uh, inside this bag. I have a uh, life straw, so if I run out of water, come upstream, I can drink out of that. And this is uh, called a grill put. It's two tubes, then a bunch of rods, and it puts it together into a regular grill over the fire. Once I get a steak and chicken and stuff like that, you guys will see this in action, don't you worry. I didn't bring it for no reason, I plan on cooking with it. Okay, and then... Uh, hold on a second here. Of course, I got something in every single pouch. Then on the south side pouches, I got some straps because if you get across the ferry, you need to strap the bike down. Then I got some sunscreen in there, hand sanitizer as well. Then the other side, I got a strap and either some sunscreen or bug juice in there. Then in this top one here, got the, the old harmonica. I'll be busting this out at some point, don't you worry. Along this trip, I'll be punching it out. Then I got a whole bunch of uh, AAA and AA batteries. And then here, uh, we got all my uh, all my cords. This is a little bag of uh, all my charging cords. And then I got some orders of the originals and some gum in there for now. Okay, so now time to uh, gonna unstrap the top and I'll show you guys every single item. Of course I got the uh, Rotopack fuel jugs. Two gallons, one on each one on each side. Then this tube here up front, I actually got uh, 600 milliliters of uh, spare oil and a bunch of rags. Got my jacket, sweater for those cool nights. I don't normally uh, carry four liters extra on me, but I got this. Uh, 
just because it's uh, if I do need extra gas, I can empty this uh, water inside me and my bladders refill everything and carry some extra gas in this container. Once I'm done, the uh, Trans Taiga won't need that no more. Then in this bag here, I've got my uh, spot tracker on it, which reminds me. I gotta push this button right now to let the wife know that I am at camp. There we go. And then the front pouch. Got all my coffee. I guess all I have in there. I got coffee and a bunch of protein bars. Basically in this bag, all I got is my food. So yeah, I got coffee protein bars in the front. Then some tuna, some mountain house meals. What am I gonna have for tonight? Eh, just breakfast, that'll be breakfast tomorrow morning. Macaroni and cheese. Or I'm gonna have stroganoff with beef for tonight. Oh yeah, and then this also has a remember that bladder that I have up front here? This does have a pouch to carry that water bladder inside, so in case of emergency, grab this backpack, I got some food, I have uh, I think it's two or three liters of water that I can carry in there, so I'm good for hike for a while with that. Put that aside for now, put that away in a bit. Here, got my brand new uh, Woods uh, Cascade tent, I think it's called. Then my sleeping bag and baby bag. And not just my sleeping bag and baby bag, inside here. I always have a, I got my air mattress, got my pillow, and a poncho. Wasn't sure whether I was going to bring this or not, but if it really starts raining in the forest, I can set my poncho up, make a fire underneath, and start drying my stuff. So, always carry that with me. Then, you always got to have a big knife on you. So there, got my, my tablet so I can uh, keep making some content for you guys on the road. All my tablet accessories with my hard drive and cords and plugins. Here I just got my water bottle and uh, another protein bar, some water tablets, some foil for when it comes to cooking some burritos and uh, pizza pockets, stuff like that. And inside there I do have my little uh, canteen cup type thing I can uh, boil my coffee in. Here I got, uh, I think, uh, three extra pair of underwear, three extra pair of socks. And the way I do it here, it might sound mangy a little bit, but uh, I, when I, before I take off on these trips, I'll grab the oldest pair of underwear I have, the oldest pair of socks with the most holes in them, and uh, I wear it for like three, four days max, and then usually I just use it to start my fire. So therefore, by the end of the trip, I have less gear than what I started with. It just like, if the stuff is full, it just keeps on going down and down. Same with the food. I keep getting less and less and then just pick up on the road as need be. So that's the clothing situation there. And then I got these. You guys might have seen them on another video. My little ninja slippers. These are, they pack up really light, 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 not much space. And when you're wearing boots all day long, these are definitely nice around the campsite at night. So I try not to leave without these. That's, that's one of my luxury items, I guess. Then, of course, gotta have rain gear because if you don't have rain gear, you're gonna be miserable when it rains. And then my south pouch here. Got the booster cables, and this is a little booster pack and jumpstart the bike, no issues. And I also use this to charge all my accessories at nighttime. And then while riding, I'll charge this up tomorrow. And on the opposite side, I just got a little, uh, not a big one, a little uh, Sly Mini Compressor. So it does. Some people carry just a tire pump, but tire pumps are probably longer, so this doesn't take that much space. I like it. You either just plug it in the cigarette lighter and let it do its job. Down the back here, this is 
my recovery system. You guys, if you guys watched last weekend's uh, video, you guys will see me use it. Uh, I got a uh, four pulleys, a bunch of beaners, and it goes with. You can see I got some uh, rope here, two more beaners, and I got some extra rope in there from the ATV uh, uh, winch rope. And then here I got my tool kit. And I got my uh, nighttime light. I got like, in my fanny pack I do have a headlamp as well. And then I have uh, this little light that I usually clip on in my hat at nighttime. But this is what I call my, my filming light pretty much. Uh, so I can put it somewhere in front of me and try to get some good lighting at nighttime. Oh yeah, and here, this one here, I got a tube here, this is where I got my thermals in, and then on the other side, I'll show you the other stuff that's hooked onto the bike itself, here I got, it's a Bear Grylls knife, some people say it may not be the best, but I, I, I like it, it does the job for what I need it for, and then here, I got my saw, so I can cut some, uh, might have seen me use that to cut some trees in the way before. And then I got my trusty tomahawk here as well. Just pull that out and then it just slides right out. Not a bad little system if you ask me. But yeah, so as you can see, that's, uh, I don't know, a little bit different format than what I normally do. But uh, you'll see the whole camping stuff on my summer trip Tuesdays, which they will probably be starting in like, as you guys see this, two Tuesdays from now. I don't know, it's hard to do math, I know, my videos are all over the place sometimes, but uh, anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you have any questions you, on my gear, recommendations, please comment down below, I love hearing from you guys, so uh, till next time, remember to live everybody, as I'm doing right now, and cheers my friends.